best to roll off used to have those homes, boys' homes, girls' homes. <coughs> and there was a there's a family that came to him and wanted to meet with him one afternoon. He had a boy that was going wild. He had a teenager they, they were losing control of. And they thought if they could get him in one of his homes, might save him. Roloff met with him. He said, I want to talk to him. I want to meet with him. He did. He left, left mom and daddy out in the foyer and took that boy in the office and just sat down and talked with him a few minutes. They wasn't in there five minutes. And they came out of the office. But Roloff was shaking his head. He said, I can't do nothing for him. I can't help him. Mama, with tears running down her cheeks, said, why not? Why can't you do something for my boy? Here's what he said. He's not sick of his sin yet. He's not hungry enough yet. Sometimes it'll, it'll have to come to the point where you get sick of it. But it's just not yet. Keep in mind, this may be for a year or two, three or four years down the road. If you ever get to a point when you get sick of it, you get hungry enough. I just want to leave you with this. <laughs> you can always come home. Amen. Amen. If you've not done got yourself killed or something, you can come home. Please remember that. You can always come home. But thanks to Father looking for you. He's longing for you. He's watching you. Just as soon as he sees you heading that direction, he'll come to you, fall on you, kiss you, welcome you home, put a robe on you, ring on your finger, shoes on your feet. And he'll tell them, go, go kill fatty calf. Let's rejoice. Just, just young people especially, my burden's on you this morning. Don't ever forget. If you did get out of genre, you come home. But keep in mind, some never make it back. Some never make it back. Some are still praying. If you need to come, I'd encourage you. Please. Please come. If you're seeing some red flags, this stuff just don't thrill you anymore. Better watch.